How's it going guys? Dale the Artist here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go about creating that anime tune shader, sail shader look inside of Blender. First thing you want to do is ensure your model is important to the scene and it's been UV unwrapped, textured. And now we can start adding our sail shader or tune shader, however you prefer to say it, inside of Blender. I'm going to show you guys two different ways to go about creating the tune shader. Um, whatever one fits your situation, you can choose that one. So once you're ready, we can switch the viewport mode uh, to render. And let's go to render properties here on the right. And let's ensure that the render engine we're using is EV and not cycles. Now, what I want to do is go to the 3D viewport, and press shift A, go down to light, then sun. And we can just slide this over just a bit. And first thing we want to do is just change the direction that the light is pointing because this light is actually the primary source of where your shadows are going to be once we go to tune shader, cell shader. And once you're satisfied, we can just let that go. And let's select our body so we can start applying our textures. So what we can do is switch the UI from layout to shading and um, select our body here, press new, and also to the right, we can just um, select this material properties here and we can see the same options. Uh, what I want to do is just slide this material output over to the right. And now what I'll do is press shift A, go to search, and I'm going to bring in a shader uh, node. So type in shader, you can see shader to RGB. I have that here and let's press shift a once again go to search and we get need to bring in a color ramp now we need to connect the beast bsdf to the shader color to the factor and this color to the surface of that material output now once we have this um, I'm going to show you guys first, if you guys don't have your model textured and don't have albedo and diffuse map, I'm going to show you guys just how to go about getting good results or decent results. Um, first thing we're going to do is change the color ramp mode from linear to constant and quickly you see our character is black. And if you slide these sliders left and right, you'll see that it controls the shadow of our, our material. So once you're satisfied, you can pick a spot and then whatever widget you have selected here, you can change the color here at the bottom. So for the example, we're going to just change this white to a color closer to what we're going for. You bring this down a bit, make it more pinkish. And we're going to select this black widget here and let's change this to be a lot lighter but still darker than our original value. Now, this is a typical workflow that you would see, and this is it for the material node setup if you don't have a material. Now, if you do have a material already done and your character's already been textured in a different software or program, you can import that now. And you can just press Shift A, go to Image, image texture, bring that in, go to open, and you can go to the directory where you stored your textured uh, files. Select it, hit open, and that's going to import that in. And now we need to bring in uh, one more node, and it's a mix RGB node. So press shift A, search, type in mix, and you're going to see mix RGB here. I'm going to just drag this to be right here in between these two. So let's first grab the image texture and grab the color and drag that into color one. And it's going to automatically set the color ramp to be color two. And first thing I'm going to do is drag this factor all the way up to one and change the layer type from mix to multiply. And quickly you see that we have um, our texture in here and it looks a lot better than how it looked before. And now we can adjust these sliders to get something more preferable. 
Let's change this from pink to a lighter color. Let's change this darker value to be a lot lighter so it can look like a shadow. And this looks fine here. Now we have our texture and if you move around the, the light you can see that the shadow follows the textures and the material. So depending on where your light is, is where you'll get all that value. Now, something we need to do is go to the render properties once again and go all the way down to where it says uh, color management and ensure that we change the view transform from filmic to standard so it can pop a lot more. And now you just do the same for the rest of the materials on your scene. Now, if you guys want access to this file, this blend file, you guys can download it in the description below to send you over to my Patreon and you guys can uh, have access to this. Now for the hair is unique because I didn't actually do a texture for the hair. Actually I did, but I'm not gonna use it for this one. I'm just gonna uh, revert back to what we did in the beginning. And this useful doing solid objects like this. So we're gonna bring in a shader, RGB, drag it over here. I'm gonna bring in a color ramp. Now we can just change these colors. Ensure that you switch the mode from linear to constant. Now we can just drag this to we get something closer to what we like. I'm gonna bring this down to be a little bit more gray. This looks good. Now, although this looks good, there's something else missing, and that's that black outline. Now, to get the black outline, we have to do something a little bit different than adding the tune shader. So what we'll do is add a new material. So we'll select our body here, go to material properties, hit the plus sign, hit new. Let's name this outline. And let's go to shading. Ensure we switch this back to object if it's not there already. And what we want to do is get rid of this principal BSDF. So I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to press shift A for the search. I'm going to type in emission. Go to emission, drag that to the surface. And let's change the emission from white to black. And that's because it's going to be the same color as the outline that you want. So now that we have this here, we can go switch back to layout. And uh, we want to ensure that we have back face call checked on. Now we go to the modifiers tab here and we want to add a modifier. And the modifier we're gonna add is a solidify. Open the normals drop down here. Check flip and high quality. Now where it says materials, and if you want to change the thickness here of the line, you can change it here in thickness. Hold down shift while dragging this to uh, incrementally move this. So 0 0.003 looks fine for me. Now you see we have that outline. Now I think I may make this a little bit smaller. So we'll do maybe two. You guys see that outline or character. And we can just repeat the same functionality for the rest of the pieces outside of the body. So we'll go to clothing, hit the plus sign, and we're gonna find outline. And it's already set up with the parameters that we want it to be set up with. So 
So now we just add the modifier, which is a solidify. Make sure the normals are flip high, materials, one or two is fine. Now we change the thickness by holding down shift and dragging. And I want to change this to about a three. So we'll get that nice outline there. So just rinse and repeat guys for each element on here. So here's where we are right now guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, and as well guys, if you're still here now, if you want access to this blend file, the link is in the description. Uh, it's over on my Patreon. Uh, so go check that out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.